Hi guys, welcome to our unofficial Tom Ford Tuesday, where on Tuesdays we dabble into lots and lots of Tom Ford beauty. For today, it's all about the new Tom Ford Extreme iQuad in Mercurial, the one that comes in the beautiful chromed out packaging. Oh, isn't she lovely? We're going to create a couple of looks. We're going to swatch it, of course, and let's see what this palette's all about. Let's go ahead and get started. Really quick, guys, before we get started, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to each and every one of you who took the time to leave a comment on my community post in regards to why I was unable to post a video last week. I appreciate you guys so much. It's such a little thing to leave a quick little comment, but it brightened my day. It helped me feel a lot better, and I just... I had to say thank you again and I, I appreciate you guys so 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 much and let's go ahead and get started and I'm losing power because as we speak I have a storm passing over Ita yes oh my god you see okay that's that let me get into this video all right this is Tom Ford's newest iQuad extreme in shade 01 mercurial so this palette is now available on Tom Ford website, Sephora, and all of the other retailers. It does come with a little dust cover, which you really want to keep on this packaging because of the completely chrome fingerprint magnet, because you can totally just clean it off with this, because the fingerprints are going to drive you crazy. <laughs> but it is that standard Tom Ford packaging. You can open her all the way up, you get a nice mirror. And here are the beautiful shades. And upon first glance, I really like the color story. I think it is very different than last year's. Last year, it was a lot more extreme, a lot more bold. When it comes to the extreme, collection with Tom Ford, I always think of some real vamped up drama and not saying that you can't get it from the Mercurial, but just in comparison to last year's collection, which was the Badass. Is that what this one's called? Yeah, the Badass. And it also came out with a little gloss for eyes. Um, just in comparison, I think this one Mercurial is a lot more wearable and you can definitely vamp it up. All right, so let's do swatches really quick and then I'll come back and we will do a couple of looks. I'm not wearing any face makeup. I figured we'd do the eyes first and then we'll pull the whole look together at the end. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyes. I'm gonna be using my Marc Jacobs Undercover Coconut Eye Primer. So guys, I have a question for you. I am wanting to go live so that we can, you know, hang out and stuff. Let me know if you guys would like for me to do my comparisons of this Mercurial palette live so that you guys can maybe ask for the particulars that you'd like it to be compared to. Comment below and let me know. But regardless, I have you know, purchased what I need to so that we can start doing some lives. You know, any ideas, you know, comment below, let me know. I just washed all my brushes. Ugh, it's such a beautiful feeling. I literally washed all my brushes because they were all dirty. It was so bad. <laughs> I almost don't want to admit to it. I can't believe I let it get to that. What happens? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go into this burgundy-esque shade first. And these all are like a shimmer formula. Is that what they describe it as? A curated collection of richly pigmented... I'm reading off of the Tom Ford website. This is a curated collection of richly pigmented shadows that offer a buildable metallic luster. This unique combination of soft powders provide a weightless, buildable, and blendable multi-dimensional look. Rich and creamy to the touch, shimmer drenched hues deliver true color impact while sparkling pearls capture and reflect light before maximized illumination. 
a weightless creamy powder formula that adheres easily to the eyes, allowing for a long wearing application with no fallout. It's iridescent micro sparkles deliver a buildable metallic intensity. So with all of that said, there are no mattes in this palette. They're all nice and shimmery and beautiful. And I did all that so that I could let my eyeshadow primer kind of have a moment to be great and set in place. <laughs> so I'm just taking a Wayne Goss number 18 brush and we're going to go into the burgundy-esque shade. And I'm going to start with that directly in Leo Crease. We're just, just, we're just going to do it. I'm going to put it on the outer eye as well. And you know, we're breaking the rules. I know you're not supposed to put shimmer in the crease, but come on now. We do as we please around here, around these parts. Wow. I love the wet dry formula so much. It is my absolute favorite formula when it comes to Tom Ford. Now I'm not, I went into the um, shadow once and I mean, do you see how much pigment we have? Yes. So I am just, whatever's left, I'm just bringing it up ever so slightly. All right, I think I like where we're at. As far as that shade is, we diffused it a little, we blended her a little. It's beautifully pigmented. That's the thing about Tom Ford eyeshadows. You really don't have to do too much. They literally blend themselves almost. Such a beautiful formula. So I'm just swirling around that brush on my microfiber. And... All right, so of the two lighter shades up top, I say this one is more of a yellow champagne and this one has a little pink-ish to it. I'm gonna go into that one and same brush and I'm going to apply, you know what, no. Let's do a different brush. So I pulled out my Isom W23, going into that champagne pink shade. Picking up the shadow on my brush. And then I'm just going to wet my brush. You know, honestly, I feel on my skin tone, either one of these shades will work with this and they'll probably end up looking the same on the lid. But let's see. Oh, so pretty. Just really open up the eye so that I have my placement right. Okay. And I'm leaving the outer portion just a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that we used, the Wayne Goss number 18 and the burgundy shade. And I'm gonna re-intensify the outer eye. And where the two shades meet, I am patting. So we give a nice little soft blend. And going into the crease. A little bit. That's the thing with creating eyeshadow looks is you're gonna do a little bit of back and forth. So until you kind of build it up to where you want and such. I'm going to go into the other lighter shades up top and let's put that on the inner portion of the lid. Yeah, this shade is definitely a lot brighter on me. Just flip the brush around and pack where the two colors meet. So everything's nice. I've got my eye definer pen. I'm gonna do a little wing. Well, not a little wing, we'll just do a wing. I am taking a Chikahota GSN 10 and I have no product. And I am just going to soften these edges a little bit more. 
with that Isam, with the Isam, <laughs> the brush attacks, with the Isam W23. I am very lightly going into the lighter of the two champagne shades. And I'm just going to ever so lightly twilight my brow bone. Apply a couple coats of the badass mascara and then we'll move on to the other eye look. So you guys, I finally have a Tom Ford eyeliner. Yay! <laughs> this is the Emotion Proof Liner in Chocolat. I went to a Tom Ford Masterclass. Oh, it was amazing. I think it, re yeah, I do think it was the first official Masterclass and they used it and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just do it. So I got a liner. Packaging is really nice. It's, you know, it's very Tom Ford. And on the bottom, you have the little color. Get a little sharpener. And it's a little twist up. Let's do a little swatch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So pretty. And put that in the waterline. I'll have to report back on how this wears and such. But it's pretty creamy. I like the color. All right. Let's move on to the other look. So for this next look, I want to go into this brown shade. You know, and I have to say just from my swatches, the brown shade uh, is the least metallic type of shades. So I'm going to apply that shade on my lid and I'm using my Wayne Goss number 18. Just going to blend this all over on my lid. I want to say there's a little, it's brown, but there's a purple-ish tone to it as well. This would be a beautiful shade to use for a smoky eye. Okay. Did you see? I literally just went like this. And, oh, that is the beauty of the wet dry formula, Tom Ford eyeshadows. Yes, please. And thank you. I'm just building up on the lid. And this is another great shade for a one and done. For a one and done smoky goodness. One so nicely. It's evenly distributed. It's nicely pigmented. Yes, please. I'm just cleaning off that brush on my microfiber towel. And then we're going to go into the shade we used on this eye. And I'm going to use that to kind of soften my edges a little bit. Blend in the crease. Cannot wait to put on my foundation and concealer and just like clean everything off. You know, with makeup, there's so many ways to do the same thing. You know, everybody has their own technique. It's not per se that yours is wrong and mine is right, or mine is right and yours is wrong. It's just different ways of doing pretty much the same thing. Well, of course, there's like basics. But, you know, like with much, th like with most things in life, you do it, you know, a way that suits you and pass it on. I think I like that as the brow bone highlight, but for the sake of using a different shadow, I'm going to go into this one for my brow bone highlight. And we're using that Isom W23 brush. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And then the clean Chikohoto brush and just going to a little heart's content. Wow, I don't know which eye I like better. 
two totally different extremes, you know? I'm gonna do wing liner and mascara. I'm gonna apply my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate foundation, my concealer, you know, the whole shebang. Voila! You see how the base makeup really pulls the look together? I did recently do two separate styles of complexion. I did a modern soft matte and a more glowing complexion, both featuring Tom Ford on our Tom Ford Tuesday. So if you want to kind of see how you can achieve, you know, a nice complexion from Tom Ford, those videos are a part of the series already. Anywho, here we are. Let's go ahead and finish up the eye makeup. And then I want to put together a little lip cocktail. So for this eye, I think it's suiting. Let's go into the burgundy shade. I'm using a Sonia G Smudger 2 brush. I am going I'm a little smoky this eye is. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go into the dark shade that we used on the lid. All right, let's put a little mascara on the lower lash line. So, you know me, I have to do a lipstick cocktail or it wouldn't be me. <laughs> We're gonna use two Tom Ford lipsticks. I'm first gonna go in with the lip blush. She looks like this. She gives a little bit of a tint to the lips because the eyes are already so nice and dramatic. Keep a little simpler on the lips. Kinda just apply and it gives a soft tint to the lips. You can build it up. And then the newest from the holiday collection, the Balm Frost. It's not as cute anymore and all sparkly because I've been using it a lot. But I'm gonna apply that over top for just a little glimmer and sparkle and extra extraness. Balm Frost. It's so subtle and nice and glittery, but not weird. It's such a beautiful balance. And I have been pairing these two because they're soft, but there's still a little something, <laughs> you know? So now that we've created two different looks with the quad and we've technically used all of the colors, and you know me, I have so much Tom Ford, I decided to make a series on Tuesday where we use lots of Tom Ford Beauty. I have to say, they perform like I have come to expect from Tom Ford Beauty and you saw for yourself, it was quite effortless. Everything blended beautifully. You really can't beat this Tom Ford formula. It outperforms almost all of the other Tom Ford shadows. I have tried majority of the Tom Ford shadows and I have to say, the wet dry beats them all, all day, every day. And this color story, it's on par with the extreme line. And I love this color story. I love this smoky eye. It's a purpley brown with a little burgundy. I love, I love, I love it. And this softer, yes, it's more dramatic. It's more extreme, but come on. Come on. What are you going to get with a quad like this? All in all, I have to say that the shadows performed beautifully. It's a beautiful color story. Definitely let me know what you think about this new eyeshadow from Tom Ford. Pretty sure you know how I feel about it. And thank you for letting me share it with you. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.